in the position I'm in, I'm exposed to some of the most extraordinary stories of empowerment, individual empowerment. I get to hear about all the great successes, or many of them, that are happening across our community. And so rather than just hold all those stories to myself, the team here thought we should share a few. So I'd like to share a few of the stories that are, I think, wonderful, shining examples of what you all are doing so that, like me, you might be inspired by what your peers are up to. Why don't we go ahead and roll the video. My name is Antonio Avant. I am the Manager of Litigation Technology at Troutman Sanders eMerge. And I'm Montserrat Esparza, and I'm a Litigation Technology Analyst at Troutman Sanders eMerge. I am Montserrat's boss. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of the central members of our team on the, the analyst team. Gear Up is an organization that provides young adults, mainly minorities, between the ages of 18 and 24, the opportunity, the tools, and the skills they need to be professional, to be successful, really, in the professional environment. And it does that by taking them through a rigorous one-year program, six months of intensive training on business, technology, professional etiquette, and then another six months of getting practical hands-on and um, experience by working with a corporation. We did a vigorous training program with uh, one of the coordinators and we learned all of the relativity like the whys and hows and we went from like creating a database to importing data to processing data to exporting and creating productions. And it's cool because everything is in one platform so we don't have to hop in up to a lot of different tools. We can train them on one good platform and they'll get a full gist of the entire process, litigation process. Uh, Europe is important to me because it opened a lot of doors for me. I went from having a minimum wage to actually having a meaningful career. And uh, it's very important. I bought a house at 21. Yeah, it opens many doors for a lot of us. I know a lot of um, my colleagues from Europe have been in the same position as well. My name is David Hasman. I'm the Information System Officer with the United Nations. The conversation started from the UN, basically came uh, organically through the FAST Innovation Awards. Uh, myself and my, and my team won back-to-back uh, -back innovation awards, and it was through those conversations that was recognized by the UN and made the connection. And we're really uh, using technology to give people voices that would never be able to describe, show, or in, in any kind of detail as to what is going on in either in their hometowns or, in the, or their countries or amongst their families. And, you know, if you could really help uh, those types of people show the truth of what's happening in the world, this is human. This is human rights and, and dignity. You know, I think for what's really next is to make sure that we are successful at the UN uh, on various projects and, and mandates. What my goal would be is to really show how technology can really help shine light on some difficult subjects. My name is Chris Knox. I'm Managing Director at Deloitte Risk and Financial Advisory Services. My name is Sue Seeley. I'm a Senior Manager at Deloitte Risk and Financial Advisory Services. We started working together over 15 years ago at a small company that was providing e-discovery services to government agencies and private organizations. And in 2016, we began the journey down the Freedom of Information Act, or FOIA, path. And since then, we have grown the Deloitte's disclosure team over five times what it was in 2016. We took a focus on building a technology platform that would aid our services in delivering services to the government to remediate their backlog. Relativity has a really strong processing engine and a review platform which were at the heart of what they needed and what we've added to it is a data-centric workflow. It already had the core capabilities that we needed and we basically needed to just put a FOIA skin on it. So the government is just starting to hear the message that we've been putting out there for a long time that they don't have to build this from the ground up, that the e-discovery industry has the right tools and approaches that they can leverage and lift and shift over to help them. So for us and for our team, it's about continuing to get the message out and really growing what we're doing so that the people working with us can continue their career growth as well. Big round of applause for all of our peers.